If you're ready to invest in a business, you should probably know a few things about that business first, right? Well, John Monk explains how in the Tiffin area, local investors have been starting the investment process before even learning the names of the businesses. When the Tiffin Seneca Economic Partnership started seeing local businesses closing because the owners couldn't find investors or entrepreneurs to sell to, they knew they needed a program. So they developed the Tiffin Seneca Entrepreneurial Opportunity Clearinghouse, which lists the vital details of the businesses looking to sell online. So we started the clearinghouse as a way to advertise those opportunities and to make sure that aspiring entrepreneurs knew they were there. But there's one catch. The names of the businesses are omitted. This leaves investors to initially go off of just the core details of the sale, size, and staff of the business, along with the general terms of purchase until they get closer to a deal. If you know that something is a, a shoe store, that may be less interesting to mm -hmm. you. Uh, but when you learn that it's a successful retail business uh, and then then you learn that it's a shoe store, it becomes something that you're more interested in mm -hmm. uh, and more excited to take part in. So far, three business agreements have been completed. The most recent is an investor outside of Tiffin has purchased the TJ Willie's restaurant. And a few weeks ago, you may remember me telling you about Kibler Shoes, the longest operating retail store in Ohio changing ownership. That deal was initiated on the clearinghouse as well. And she probably wouldn't have known that this opportunity existed had she not looked on the site. And the newest listing on the entrepreneurial clearinghouse is listed as Project Watch Face, where a local Tiffin brewery is looking to partner with a new or established Tiffin-based restaurant. Reporting from Tiffin, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.